Ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, if you're watching this later on YouTube, hello, welcome. Twitch chat is already very much with me. Um, welcome back, everybody. We're continuing with the Knights of the Old Republic. We're still stuck on Taris with Karf, wishing we were dead. Um, I'm kidding. Karth isn't that bad, but still. Um, yep, here we are. With Karth. Karth? With Karth on Taris. I should preface this, ladies and gentlemen, if you're watching this on YouTube or indeed if you've just tuned in on Twitch. I am quite, quite hungover today. Um, my brain is not firing on all cylinders, so, so to speak. I, uh, not all with it today. Um, so yeah, we're in, we're in Taris. Um, and, uh, we're ready to crack on and continue. As I shall mention it at the start of this stream as well, for the benefit of those of you who weren't here last time. Um... As I previously stated, uh, behave yourselves, don't spoil the game, don't spoil the big twist as we go through playing this for the benefit of those of you among those, those, those of you among us who have actually never played Kotal before and don't, don't know the story. You've all been very good so far. Even the YouTube commenters, I was a little surprised by that actually. Um, sorry YouTube commenters, no, don't, no offense, but anyway, yeah. Be good. No story spoilers for folks who haven't played it, and I mean that. I I, I really mean. I mean, they, 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 this this isn't this isn't like a, you know, like marriage vows or a promise to a dying parent. This this really really counts. Um, so, <clears throat> that's that's perfect. That's perfect. He decided to queue up an ad break literally as soon as I loaded the game. I feel bad for the people on Twitch who aren't subbed. Uh, right, anyway, here we are. Vibro sword in hand. In the lower city. Are we in the right place? Have I loaded the right save here? This is the one we want. I... whoops. That's better. I was going to say, because we need to turn in this bounty to Zax, the, the hut over here. But we didn't actually do this bounty. We we got the guy who evolved to fake his own death, and we helped him do it. And hopefully we won't get called out on that, or, or found out. I've not seen you here before, human. You are new to the bounty office, yes? My name is Zax. I'm the one in charge here. I'm going to re reading out the, the alien dialogue, because apparently... It's better that way, according to the YouTube comments, and I kind of agree. Are you looking for work? There are many bounties available here, legal and otherwise, but they all pay quite well. Uh, Gurney said I should speak to you about the Rackle Serpent. We don't have it yet, though, so. Um, you work for Davik? Not officially, no. I work for the Bounty Office, but Davik pays me to... Oh, oh, sorry, that was hurting my throat doing the voice. Davik pays me to keep my eyes open and report to him, and for me to post his bounties. Davik post bounties in a government office. Is that even legal? I will make it legal. I mean, um, I used to have I had to keep our relationship secret, but since the Sith arrived, nobody cares what happens in the lower city. Davik can do whatever he wants. But enough talk. Back to business. This is the bounty office, so we should talk bounties. Or are you looking for information? I've got a bounty I want to collect on, as a matter of fact. A bounty? Well, human, this is what I'm here for. Which bounty are you here to collect on? Uh, we'll lie and tell him that Matrick is dead. I believe you, human. I've heard reports of a rather large explosion, and some of my people saw you buying the Permacrete detonator. It's good Matrick's dead, but maybe you went overboard, human. Next time use a blaster, not a bomb. Bombs are messy, but at least the job is done. Here, 300 credits. That's the price of all bounties. Persuade. I want 400 credits for this job. He won't give it to us, but we'll try anyway. Oh, wow, okay. You're a brave, human, to bargain with a hut, but I like you. Okay, 400 it is. You do good work, human. There's lots of bounty hunters on Taris, but most are lazy. Maybe if you keep cashing in on bounties, uh, cashing in bounties, they'll work harder. Need some information. But it's not free, he says. Uh, yeah, I, um, tell me about the bounties, yeah. There's two government contracts. One's an assassin named Selvan. The other is Ben Dax Starkiller. He's a famous deathmatch duelist. Between them, they've killed hundreds of people. I can't see anything wrong with getting rid of people like that. 
As long as we don't end up on the list of their victims. But not all the bounties are dangerous. Davik's got some special contracts. One's for a girl named Dia. She attacked Holden, one of Davik's men. Another for a man named Largo, who owes da Davik money. Okay, I don't know about Davik's special contracts. Justice is one thing, but doing a crime lord's dirty work is something else. And then there's Matrick. He used to... Yeah, we've already done that. Um... I want more details on these bounties you're offering. All the information is in your data pad already, but if you don't want to look there, then I guess I can fill you in. Who do you want to know more about? Uh, yeah, tell us about Selvin the Assassin. Selvin's a government bounty. She's a very dangerous woman. When she started, she was just another killer working for Davik. Then she began freelancing to the highest bidder. One day, she killed six citizens in the street, and their bodyguards too. They were all Ulgos, a powerful merchant family with many enemies. Selvin was hired to kill off the whole family. She was very good at her job. Each day, more Ulgos, Ulgos died. Poisoned at home, shot in the street. Guards and droids couldn't protect them. After a month, there were no Ulgos left on Terrace. Not one. Uh, did they ever find out who hired Selvin to kill them all? It was never proven, but after the Olgos were all dead, the Organa family demanded the government put out a contract on Selvin. They said nobody was safe as long as Selvin was still free. But the Organa family were powerful rivals of the Olgos. Some think they were the ones who hired Selvin. They, then they tried to have bounty hunters kill her to keep the secret from coming out. But Taris politics aren't your concern. You're just a bounty hunter. You kill Selvin, you get the credits. That's the only important thing, right? Okay. What about one of the other ones? What about Bendak Starkiller? Bendak's a government contract, he's, but he's a legend on Taris. He started out as a duelist in the upper cantina. He never lost, but he only fought death matches. He killed hundreds in his day. Then death matches got banned. Duel rings switched to non-lethal combat, but Bendak wasn't ready to retire. Uh, he keeps dueling on the illegal underground circuit. He kept, keeps killing people. Finally, the government had no choice but to put a bounty on him. But Bendak's a big folk hero, so not too many try to collect. Those who do all wind up dead anyway. Okay. Toodle pip, Zax. I'm not going to do your, your dirty contracts, but I will do your government ones. Warren Polo is kind of a uh, kind of kind of a reluctant wise ass, but uh, he's not. He's he's one with a heart of gold, I think. We're, so we're not, we're not going we're not going to be we're not going to do the evil stuff. And this is where the hidden backs hang out. We need to speak to these guys. Hey, you can't just walk in here. This is the hidden back base. How do I know you're not a Vulcan spy sent to kill Gad on Thek? Uh, I need Gadden's help. I was told to speak to him. A lot of people want to go inside and speak to Gadden. He's a hero of the common folk. But the days of the Hidden Beck's open door policy are gone. Between the Sith conquest and the Vulcan gang war, Gadden has more enemies than he used to. We're being careful about who we let in now. I bet you're not being that careful. So wait, maybe a bribe could let me in? No, maybe I could be an ally against all those enemies. Well, we do need all the help we can get. And you don't look like you're with the Vulcans or the Sith. <laughs> Besides, it's not like you can do anything to harm Gadden in the heart of his own base. Not with Zedra watching his Pay back. no attention to the Sith uniform in my backpack. Uh, <clears throat> so you're gonna let me in? Go in and speak to Gadden if you want. Just remember to be on your best behavior. The hidden Vex are watching you. Alrighty then, and this is the man himself over here. Hold it right there. Who are you, and what is your business with Gadden? Calm down, Zadra. Nobody's going to try anything here in the middle of our own base. It would be a suicide mission. You're too trusting, Gadden. Brezhik and his Vulkers want you dead. Anyone we don't know is a potential threat, and it's my job to make sure you're safe. Do you want us to start attacking strangers on sight, Zadra? Like the Vulkers do? I will never let it come to that. Now step aside and let them pass. As you wish. You can speak to Gadden if you want, but I've got my eye on you. 
You try anything and you'll be vaporized before you can say Volker spy. Okay. You'll have to forgive Zerdra. Ever since Bregic and the Vulkers began this war against us, she's been a little overzealous in her security duties. The problems with the Sith haven't helped things. Zerdra seems to forget that I know how to look after myself. Now, how can I help you? Um. You have problems with the Sith? A foreign army invades Terrace, declares martial law, and locks down all travel to and from the planet? You damn well bet I have a problem with that. If the Sith ever moved in down here, all the swoop gangs would unite against them. We'd use hit-and-run guerrilla tactics to pick them off. Their casualties would be enormous. Don't fool yourself. The Sith would never commit to that kind of operation. They'd, they'd probably do something much more grand and deadly. But so far, the Sith have stayed out of the lower city. And our strength is wasted on this stupid gang war. I tried to explain this to Brezhik, but he and his Vulcans won't listen. I need information on these Republic escape pods that crashed in the Undercity. The escape pods? You know, I heard the Sith have been asking around the Upper City about them as well. But you don't look like you're with the Sith. They might be spies, Gadden. They might be working for the Sith. Calm down, Zerdra. If the Sith thought we knew anything useful, they'd have a battalion of troops kicking down our door. No, I think this Offworlder has his own agenda. Mm, do you know anything about this or not? I suppose I could tell you what I know. It's not like it could do any harm to me or my gang. But it might cause problems for the Vulcas, and that's okay in my book. The Vulcans stripped those pods clean within hours after they landed. It's too bad we didn't get there first, considering what my spies reported the Vulcans found. A female Republic officer named Bastila survived the crash. We Bex don't believe in intergalactic slavery, but the Vulcans aren't so picky. They took a prisoner. Bastila's a slave? What will happen to her now? Normally, the Vulcans would take a captured slave and sell them for a nice profit to Davik, or an off-world slaver. But a Republic officer is no ordinary catch. They still think Bastila is just a Republic officer. That could work to our advantage. Maybe she'll even figure out a way to escape from the Vulcan base on her own. She's too valuable to leave with the Vulcan scum at the base. Brezhik's probably got your Republic friend hidden away somewhere safe until the big swoop race. You'll never find her. So we brace? What's that got to do with it? I'm afraid your friend has become a pawn in Brezhik's game to take over the lower city. He's offered her up as the Vulcan's share of the prize in the annual Swoop Gang race. By putting up such a valuable prize, Brezhik hopes to win the loyalty of some of the smaller gangs. Their numbers will allow him to finally destroy me and my followers. So how do you propose we go about rescuing Bastila then, when well, we can't fight all the gangs? The only hope you have of rescuing Bastila is to somehow win the big season opener of the Swoop race. Mm-hmm. Gadden, can you help me with this? I might be able to help you with this. If you'd be willing to help us. We both have something to gain here. And much to lose. How do I know I can trust you? You really don't have any other choice. Not if you want to get Bastila back. You should at least listen to what I have to say. The swoop race is for the lower city gangs only. I could sponsor you as a rider for the Hiddenbecks this year. If you win the race, you'll win your friend's freedom. But first, you have to do something for me. My mechanics have developed an accelerator for a swoop engine. A bike with the accelerator installed can beat any other swoop out there. But the Vulcans stole the prototype from us. They plan to use it to guarantee a victory in this year's swoop race. I need you to break into their base and steal it back. Hmm. How do I know you'll live up to your, your end of the bargain? My word is my bond. Everybody in the lower city knows my reputation. Besides, you really don't have a choice. I'm your only ticket into the swoop race. But how am I supposed to get into, inside the Volker base? Getting into the Volker base won't be easy. The front doors are locked tight. But I know someone who might be able to get you in the back way. Mission Veil. Vale. Mission? Gaddon, you can't be serious. She's just a kid. How is she supposed to help them with this? Mission's explored every step of every back alley in the lower city. Plus, she knows the undercity sewers better than anyone. If anyone can get inside the Vulcan base, it's her. Uh, where can I find Mission? 
She and her Wookiee friend Zalbar are always looking to stir up a little excitement. They like to go exploring in the Undercity, despite the dangers. Your best bet is to look for her in the Undercity. But you'll need some way past the Sith guard post at the elevator. I've got some Sith uniform... Un blah, blah, blah. I've got some Sith uniforms to disguise myself, as a matter of fact. A simple disguise might have worked on the upper city guard, but the security down here is much tougher. You'll need the proper papers to get past him. Luckily, my gang ambushed one of the Sith patrols headed down to the Undercity. They never made it, and their security papers fell into my hands. Since we're working together now, I suppose I could give them to you in exchange for your uniforms. With the security papers, you won't need a disguise anyway. Hmm. What do you want with the Sith uniforms? I like to be prepared. Eventually, the Sith are going to try to drive us out of the Undercity. Sith disguises might give my people the edge we need in a crucial battle. Alright, I'll trade the uniforms for the papers. Good choice. Thanks for the uniforms. You won't need them with these security papers anyway. Now, is there anything else I can do for you? Mm, I'll be back when I get the accelerator. I suggest you hurry. The swoop race is coming up, and we want you to have time to practice before the race. Alright then. Also, yes, spoilers. I'll have to edit that bit out of the YouTube VOD. Oh my god, what now? Oh, it's the alarm I set late yesterday for my train at the station. Oops, forgot to disable that. Right, we've already been in there. We need to get to the Undercity now, which I think is this way. Oh, hello. Is it worth a grenade? I feel like it's worth a grenade. I've got nine of the bloody things saved up, so why not? I mean, yeah, it, it, that's the thing. It's an MMO, you know. Like, I get, I get that once you you put sink enough hours into it, some of the stories are pretty good. But like, I I just can't be asked to go charging around looking for intergalactic bear asses for several hours just so I can finally get to some decent story content. It's just, it's not for me. You guys are behind with your payments. What do you uh, you think? Just because you're in some gang, you don't have to give Davik his cut? I was supposed to read this dialogue out, wasn't I? Sorry, I forgot. The Volk guy's just being weird and stupid and threatening this dude. Um, generic bad guy dialogue. Ah, so you want to play this the hard way? Okay. He's, he's now having second thoughts because Candorus, the guy who just walked up, is very big and scary. And same with his friend. Summarizing the dialogue rather than reading it out. Easier. Mostly because I'm hungover and reading is hard. Get out of here. Too bad. I was looking forward to cracking some heads. Maybe next time, Candorus. I better get this over to Davik. I'll call you if anyone else gets behind on their payments. Right. Hello, Candrus. Those Valkers are dumber than a chorus and granite slug. They actually think being in that pathetic little gang of theirs makes them important. Gadon keeps his hidden Vex in line, but Brezik's getting dreams of grandeur. If Davik's smart, he'll slap that young punk back down. Star Wars Galaxies was apparently fantastic. I never I never got the chance to play it back when it was a thing. It's one of those little uh, gaming kind of, um, what's the word? 
events, I guess, that uh, you just sort of had to be there to really enjoy, I suppose. Um, yeah, who, who are you ex exactly? I'm someone you don't want to get on the bad side of. And I'm not one for small talk. I don't have time to stick around here anyway. Davik's got me working on a special assignment. All right, toodle pip, Candorous. I have a feeling that we'll meet again. More Volker scumbags. Hello there. There's two of those. Yeah, you're not worth a grenade. I'm just going to go and slap you in the face with my Viper Blade. Oh shit, no, there's three. Never mind. And he's got a shock stick. They've both got shock sticks. Damn them. Karth, why did you decide to go to point blank range to fight them, you ninny? I probably shouldn't be using the Vibra Blade, to be honest with you, most of the time. I should probably be sticking to my blaster, but never mind. I'm pretty sure my strength stat is rubbish. I, uh, kind of dropped the ball a bit in character creation. Yeah, strength is 13. <laughs> it's not very good. Uh, yeah. Never mind. Why am I at the stats part of curiosity? I was... Intelligence 14, Wisdom 12. I don't think this is a very good build. Is it? Intelligence is just skills, right? It's like skill points. Probably should have gone for higher Wisdom or higher Strength. But never mind. It's KOTOR. It's not that bloody hard. We'll manage to bumble our way through, I'm sure. Oh god, here we go. Something seems to be bothering Karth. Maybe you should speak to him and see if you can get him to open up about it. Yeah, let's have a, let's have a little heart-to-heart -heart in front of the Sith checkpoint, mate. Why not? Yes, what's in your mind? Uh, is this a good time to ask you some more questions, he says? Here of all places? I guess I did say you could ask me questions later, didn't I? Is this really necessary? Uh, I don't know if you have a problem with it. No, no, I don't have a problem with it, really. Go ahead and interrogate me. Uh, this isn't an interrogation. I never said that. No, I was just joking, though you do seem to be full of questions. It's rather refreshing, to be honest. Let me ask you something first, though. I've been going through the battle aboard the Endar Spire over and over in my head since we crashed. Some things just don't add up for me. Maybe you could tell me what happened, from your perspective. Hmm. Uh, wasn't in a position to know what was going on, really. Neither was I, to tell the truth. I was on board as an advisor for the most part. The battle began so fast it's anyone's guess as to what actually happened. We lost the ship and a lot of good people. On the hope that the Jedi powers would save us somehow. Not that Bastila had much of an opportunity to act. We didn't choose that battle anyway. It got forced on us. Hell, I'm, I'm, I'm just as surprised that any of us are alive to talk about it. Come to think of it, it's more than a little surprising that you happen to be here, isn't it? I mean, just what is your position with the Republic fleet anyway? Uh, I'm a scout. I was recruited into the fleet for my skills, if you must know. Well, that makes sense. Still, it seems a bit strange that someone who is a last-minute addition to the crew roster is one of the survivors. Uh... What's so odd about me being added to the crew at the last minute? You were the only one. Not to mention that Bastila's party was the one who requested your transfer. Bump the microphone. Oh, what a pro. I'm going to move this out of the way. Ah... Uh... Why would Bastila request my transfer? The Jedi requested numerous things when they came on board. I mean, hell, they practically took over the ship, as far as I could tell. Considering your connection to Bastila and the Jedi, whether you know it or not, your presence here seems a little convenient. I'm probably wrong, and this is probably nothing, I know. I learned a long time ago not to take things at face value, however, and I hate surprises. Uh... What do you mean by surprises? I mean, I have to expect the unexpected, just to be safe. Mm, you do know we're on the same side, right? Look, 
It has nothing to do with you personally. I don't trust anyone, and I have my reasons. And no, I'm not going to discuss them, so can we just keep our mind on more important things? Yes, let's do that. Good. Like I said before, I prefer action to talk anyway. Okie dokie. I've just noticed our health bars are in an absolute fucking state right now. Uh, I think we should probably get some fast transit free healing. There we go. Just trying to remember where the button was. There we go. Why waste med kids, eh? Hold on there, civilian. Only those with official Sith business are allowed into the Undercity. Unless you've got the proper security papers, you better just turn around and go back the way you came. Um, tempting, but dumb. Uh, I've got my security papers right here. Let me see. Uh, yeah, these look to be in order. Okay, you can go down if you want. Can't say I envy you, though. The Undercity is crawling with mutants. Rack ghouls, they call them. If you see anything moving down there, shoot first and ask questions later. Uh, how long that transition would take on the period? Oh, if, if you were playing it on the OG Xbox, I can tell you from my my own memory that it took a, a while. The loading screens in this game were not fast. Uh, so... You there! Upworlder! Anyone using this elevator has to pay the toll. Yeah, this is our elevator. If you use it, you gotta give us something. I don't believe this planet. Even the beggars are trying to shake us down. Five credits. That's what it costs to use our elevator. Five credits. Uh, yeah, enough of this. Get out of here, you filthy beggars, or I'll use my blaster to end your suffering permanently. Run, my brother! Flee this one's wrath! Go on, you two. Get out of here! I'm sorry about that. Those two beggars give everyone in the village a bad name. We aren't all like that, you know. Most of us are good people. I'm sure you are, miss. It's just too bad your little welcoming committee is here to give people a bad first impression. My name's Ward Polo. Who are you? My name is Shalina. You're from the Upworld, aren't you? I've... I've never seen it. I was born here in the Undercity. Is it as nice as they say up there? Mm. Better than this festering slime pit. <laughs> yeah, it's nothing special. Not to you, I suppose, but you're probably used to its beauty by now. I've never been to the surface, but sometimes I think I can see it in my dreams. The sun, the sky, the stars. It all sounds so, so, so wonderful. Gendar, the leader of our village, tells me I should spend more time trying to improve things down here and less time dreaming about something I can never have. Maybe he's right. You probably think I'm a fool, having dreams of a place I've never even seen. But when I was little, Rukil used to tell me stories of what it was like up there. Uh, Rukil? Who's that? Rukil is the oldest man in the village. The kids call him Rukil Wrinkleskin, but he's a kind man. He used to tell me the greatest stories when I was a little girl. I still like to listen to his tales about the Promised Land, even though I know they're just legends, but it helps to make the Undercity seem less... less dark somehow. The Promised Land? What's that? It's it's just a story to make little children smile. Rukil believes in it, though. Sometimes I can almost believe it myself, but then I look around and see the ugly truth. I guess we have to make the best of what we have, though. If you really want to learn more about the Promised Land, you should speak to Rukil. Uh, I want to ask you some questions. You'd probably get more information from Gendar, the village leader, or maybe Rukil, but I'll tell you whatever I can. 
Do you know anything about the escape pods that crashed into the Undercity? I don't know anything about that, but maybe Gendar could help you. Sorry. Is there anything else you need? Have any other upworlders come through here recently? There were quite a few people from the surface marching through the village, but none of them bothered to talk to me. Gendar might know more about them. Okay, I'll be going. Oh, okay. Well, if you ever need anything, or if you just feel like talking, come back and see me. I hardly ever get a chance to speak to someone from the upworld. You gonna do the Promised Land side quest? Yeah, maybe, actually. Um, as previously mentioned, my character build's a little bit shite, so the more XP we can get, the better, probably. This would be the root kill, wouldn't it? But I'm gonna talk to Gendar first. Also, by the way, uh, you know how Karth has a, also has a suit of light battle armor right now? I'm pretty sure that's a glitch. I am reasonably sure that's some sort of weird item duplication glitch, because I went back and I watched the VOD last time, like, wondering, like, where the heck did that come from? I, I thought, um, I thought maybe I'd absentmindedly picked it up or some, somewhere and, you know, I, I equipped it on him when I wasn't paying really full attention to what I was doing. No! No, I, I, I watched the I watched the thing back. I unequipped. I gave him the Achani battle armor to see if it was an improvement. It wasn't, so I w put the military suit back on him. And then when I exited the menu, bang! Suddenly he's wearing this light battle armor, and I have no idea how or why that happened. I think it's just a weird ass glitch. Um. So, uh, yeah, pretty strange. But we we got a free suit of light battle armor out of the deal, so <laughs> I'm not going to complain. Greetings, Upworlder. We rarely see your kind here in the Undercity. I find it strange that so many of you have come down from the surface recently. No offense, but I can see why people normally avoid this place. Why have you come into this dark and sunless place? Is there something you need of me or my village? I will help you however I can. I'm just, I'm just gonna do something here, folks. Just one teeny tiny second. I'm gonna turn off the chat overlay. Now, I apologize if that annoys anybody, because I, I know some people who watch this later on YouTube like to have the chat overlay so they can see who I'm talking to. But we're getting quite a few new people in today, and I don't trust them not to spoil the story uh, for the people watching on YouTube by accident without realizing they're not supposed to because I don't have a fucking thing on the screen saying no KOTOR spoilers um so um I'm just gonna turn off the chat overlay while we play KOTOR from now on I think because we had to, it had so we had that happen earlier and I will have had to clip that out of the VOD for YouTube which is a pain in the dick to do after the fact so um I think we're going to nip that in the bud now and prevent that from having to happen it more more times in the future by just turning the chat overlay off when we play KOTOR from now on. Um, anyway, back to the game. Who are you people? Why do you live here in the Undercity? We are the outcasts, shunned from the surface for our crimes and banished here to the Undercity. We banded together to form this village that we might survive in this hostile environment. I am Gendar, leader of this village. As my father was, and as was his father before him, Many of us have been here for generations. Our ancestors cast down long ago. There is no return to the surface for us or our descendants, but somehow we managed to survive amidst the filth and roaming bands of deadly rat ghouls. Uh, tell me about the rat ghouls that live down here. The rat ghouls are monsters, hideous mutations who feast on the flesh of our villagers. Their diseased jaws can infect those they attack, transforming the victim into one of those abominations. We know of no cure for the disease, and for the good of the village, we must banish any who become infected, lest they transform and turn on us. I want to ask you some questions. Ask your questions, Upworlder. I will answer to the best of my knowledge, though I know little beyond the borders of the Undercity. I'm looking for a Twi'lek named Mission Veo. Yes, I have seen this Twi'lek many times, though I've never spoken to her. She and her Wookiee companion often pass through our village on their way to explore the sewers. How can I get to the sewers? There are two entrances into the sewers from the Undercity. 
One to the northeast of our village, the other to the southeast. But the sewers are dangerous, Upworlder. If you dare to travel those dark tunnels, you would be wise to go heavily armed, unless you wish to become a meal for the rock ghouls and the other foul creatures. Ask right, your more quest questions. You said something about other Upworlders who came by here recently. Our village has seen many visitors from the surface recently. Armored troops, swoop gang members, mercenaries. They come to search our sunless world. They're even searching the sewers. Okay. Toodlepip. As you wish, Upworlder. Should you have need of anything else, come speak to me. I represent the entire village and I will do my best to help you however I can. I don't think rat are ever really explained. Since you since you mention it, drag. Maybe I'm wrong. Maybe I just never bothered when I played this in the past to dig around enough to find the answer, but I feel like rat are never actually explained. Like why what they are and why they are and and, and, and you know, and all that sort of stuff. You you come from the world above. Is this the time of destiny then? Is this a portent of the salvation of my people? Or merely another false sign to mislead us from the path? Are you the herald of prophecy? The beacon to guide us through the darkness? Or are you merely another harbinger of shattered dreams and unfulfilled promises? Be careful. This one might be crazy enough to be dangerous. Speak to me, Upworlder. Tell me what fate you unleash upon us. Salvation or damnation? Speak, Upworlder. I beg you. It's amazing how you manage to be wrong about so many things, Carf. I'm going to talk to this man just to spite you. Uh, okay, then. Could I ask you some questions? Or what are you talking about? Now, what are you talking about, old man? Question. You are uncertain, bewildered, perplexed. Understandable, I suppose. Even after a hundred years of life, I myself still become confused at times. Perhaps I can make things more clear. Some things, at least. My name is Rukil, the oldest outcast here in the village. Rukil Wrinkleskin, the children call me sometimes. I'm Warn Polo, which is a name I can never read out with a straight face. Uh, what do you want from me, Rukil? Once, I was honored for my wisdom. But over time, the villagers fell away from the true path. Eventually, there was only a single apprentice who followed me. And now she is gone, too. What happened to your apprentice? My apprentice is... lost. I sent her out into the Undercity to find... Well, I cannot tell you. Not yet. Sadly, my apprentice has not returned. Please, Upworlder, will you help an old man? Will you seek out my apprentice in the Undercity? Her name is Malia. I must know of her fate, whatever it may be. I must know what she found. Hmm. What will you give me if I help you? Finding her may be difficult. Malia could be anywhere in the Undercity. But if you will find her, I will know you to be our true savior. Only then can I reveal my secret knowledge to you. Alright, I'll be back if I find anything. I wish you luck, Upworlder. Come speak to me again once you have discovered the fate of my apprentice. Quick save. You ain't from the village. You're from the upworld, ain't you? Yes, you've got credits, I bet. Watch yourself. There's something slimy about this guy. I wouldn't trust him as far as I could throw him. My name's Saigir. I run a little salvage shop here. You want to buy something from my store? I got some good deals. How do you manage to run a store here in the Undercity? If a villager comes across any useful salvage in the Undercity, they bring it to me. Every so often, members from the lower city gangs come down to trade for the salvage. They'll exchange food and medicine for engine parts, old blasters and the like. 
Sometimes they even give me credits if I have his, his really accent is all, all over the place, isn't it? Uh, let me see your inventory. It ain't the best stuff, mostly salvage and such, but the price is right. Half memory, so yes, he sells antidote kits. I'm going to buy all of them. Um, anything else? Yeah, oh, that's, that's too expensive, but tempting. Um, I'm going to also buy med kits. There we go. Hurry, Hendar! Hurry! I can hear it coming! He'll never make it. He's doomed. <sighs> I told him he was a fool to leave the village. He will make it. Run, Hindar, run! Open the gate! Quickly! There isn't much time! Uh, I... I can't. The Rackles are too close. The mutants will kill him if you don't open the gate! And if I open the gate, they'll kill us all! No! You can't do this! It isn't fair! Please, make him open the gate. Hindar will die if he doesn't. I can't open the gate. Not while the rat ghouls are so near. Uh... Right, open the gate. I'll kill the rat ghouls. You'd risk your life for a stranger? <laughs> You're brave up where well, I need to go out I'll there anyway, the so... You, you've gotta be quick. <laughs> Might as well kill him. seconds, I must close and lock it again. Oh, hello, Mr. Rat Ghoul. It's not actually hostile yet. That's that's quite funny. There it is. Oh boy, hello. All right, I'm gonna have to clearly switch. Vibro sword. Ow! Instantly poisoned. Gotta love it. How'd you like that? Is it just the one? Is it not more inbound? How'd you like that? Oh, not calf as well. You dickhead, Ratgore. You. Sure. Right. Thank you for saving Hendar. You are braver than I, of Worlder. Maybe we outcasts have lived too long in selfish fear. Perhaps we can learn a lesson from your brave actions. <laughs> but enough of my ramblings. Is there something you need, Upworlder? I think if we locked Karth outside the gate, I think we might have. That's quite funny. <laughs> uh, who are you? I'm Trellin from the Outcast Village. It's my job to guard the gates and see they are locked to protect us from the Rat Ghouls. I have questions. <laughs> I just guard the gates. Gendar is the leader of the village, Upworlder. You should speak to him if you have any questions. Who are you? Oh, I've already asked you. Goodbye, Upworlder. Goodbye. Goodbye. I can't thank you enough for saving me, Upworlder. If I had anything but these rags on my back, it would be yours. But we have nothing. I still have you, Hendar. That's all I need. Let's go back to the village. Just remember me when you become Yarl of Whiterun, all right, Hendar? Okay. I see some Sith fellows over there. Please, you have to help me. Nobody else is going to help me. Even the Vex won't help me. But I can't just leave him there. He's my friend. You'll help me, won't you? Yo, the slow down mission. What's wrong? It's Dalbar. He's in trouble. Big trouble. We have to help him. In Little China? If we don't, they'll sell him into slavery. Um. <clears throat> Zalbar? You mean your Wookiee friend? What happened? This is one, oh, this is one of these uh, wonderful uh, bits in KOTOR where I think... I think all all of these 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 first three choices all of them will lead to the exact same dialogue. 
Uh, it makes no difference what you choose here. Uh, she'll say the same thing anyway. I think maybe she says something different if you if you go for the fourth one, but uh, KOTOR does this a lot. Like, it gives you multiple choices that lead to exactly the same outcome. Which is not necessarily a bad thing, because it's more about role-playing and player self-expression than it is about getting a different response. But, uh, you know. Uh, Zalbar, you mean your Wookiee friend? What happened? Me, me and Zalbar, we were just wandering around here in the Undercity. You know, looking for stuff we could find, just kind of exploring. We do it all the time. I guess with a Wookiee of your side, you've got to figure you can handle the odd Rat Ghoul attack. Only this time, they were waiting for us. Gamorrean slave hunters. We didn't even have a chance to run. Big Z threw himself at him and then warred for me to run. I, I took off. I figured Zalbar would be right behind me. But there were too many of them. He couldn't get away. They're going to sell him to a slaver. I just know it. Uh... Right, do you know where they took him? I don't know for sure, but those Gamorians like to hang out in the sewers. The stink reminds them of home, I guess. That's probably where they took Big Z. Mm-hmm. All right, well, if I help you get Zalbar back, then you have to help me get into, yeah, get into the, into the Vulcan base. It's a deal. As soon as we get Big Z back, I'll show you a way into that Vulcan base. Now, come on. We have to find Zalba before they sell him to slavers, or worse. Do you know where he's being kept? The Gamorians make their camps in the sewers. I bet that's where we'll find Zalbar. And that's where I'll show you the secret entrance into the Volker compound. Mission has joined your party. <laughs> Hooray! And level ups and all the, that good stuff. Yeah? Oops. No, I don't want to turn solo mode on. It was a misclick. Level up! Alright, attributes. Dexterity. Skills. Awareness. Awareness and demolitions for sure. As for the rest. Security, I guess. Oh, oh we've still got more points to spend. Right, she's a rogue, isn't she? She's got bucket loads of stuff of skill points to spend. I mean, I never use st st stealth, but, uh... Is that almost finally... If I, yeah, if I get that, I've got one left, but I can't, I can't get that with just one point. I, that's annoying. Fuck it. I've spent, I'll, I'll do that anyway. I'll leave the leftover point. Okay, and Karth leveled up as well, did you, did you not, sir? Uh, you just have more treat injury, mate. Feats. Feats, feats, feats. I already gave him the next... Yeah, improved two weapon find, didn't I? Watch, then shall I give you next? You've already got specialization blaster pistol. Toughness? I don't know. Portion. Nah. Could start working on upgrading like some of these, like power blast and whatnot. I can't remember really at what point power blast and any of these become worth actually really properly using. I think it's usually when you get to the third tier of it where it becomes a, a genuinely good idea. I'll take that. Still ever useful in this game? I don't know. I don't. I, I, aside from that little tutorial bit where you can use a stealth uh, belt, I can't recall a time where stealth ever like really comes up in this game again. But it's not to say that sure it definitely isn't helpful at all because I could be wrong. I don't know this game as well as I'd like to think I do. But I have to admit, I've never played KOTOR and, and thought to myself, aha, this is a situation that calls for stealth. Maybe there is and I'm just forgetting it, but... Uh... You there, civilian. This is a restricted area. What are you doing 
down here. I've got all the proper security papers. Calm your tits, you big red post box on legs. Security papers. Oh, you're one of those trackers the commander sent down, right? They should have given you an armed escort. It's nasty down here. We've already lost one patrol. We figure the rack ghouls got them. We've had so many encounters with those things, we've actually run out of rack ghoul serum. Plus, we've had several skirmishes with looters from those lower city swoop gangs. I'm telling you, we should just stay in the upper city where we're in control. Uh, you are annoying me. Time to die. <laughs> you said you lost one patrol already. Was that why you're down here? Search and rescue. I didn't think they'd send anyone. They were in the southern section of the undercity when we lost contact. I would have gone to investigate, but my orders are to search for those crashed escape pods, even if it means leaving another patrol to die. Hmm. -hmm. Why don't you just give it the search? Courts Marshal. Talking, you know. Nothing anyone has to mention to the commander. Come on, patrol, let's get back to it. The sooner we get this search done, the sooner we can get out of this mutant infested hole. Move out. Chatting with the Sith and correcting their grammar. All in a day's work. I don't suppose you can go up this, can you? No. Hey, Abba Gabba, how you doing? Hello, Rat Ghoul friends. Just realized that mission you have a no armor, and also I don't even know what weapon you're using right now. What you got? A blaster pistol, steel field generator, uh, we better give. Ooh, the Achani fiber armor. You can wear that. Perfect. Well. Nice work, everybody. Wonder if we can try and pick them off one at a time here. Oh, if we shoot like that, we won't. There we go. Let's go. Mission, where are you? Do you mind? For it poisons me. Oh fucking hell! I hate rat ghouls. Useless bloody Twi'lek. Right. Okay, okay. Very nice. Is this a, one of the sewer entrances, or is this just a, a nothing door? It's a nothing door, ladies and gentlemen. well is it you are oh boy oh boy let's go This game is so much better on a console. The PC interface is just annoying. All right, we good? That okay? I, I thought I was going to go a hell of a lot worse than it actually did in the end. <gasps> did I see a heavy blaster. I picked up a heavy blaster and I didn't even notice. Thank you very much. Nice. All right, some dead Sith. Ah, oh, brilliant. Some antidote kits. Beam splitter, medipacks, heavy combat suit, and the Rack Ghoul serum. Oh, and a computer spike. 
and three whole credits. Don't you spend them all in one place, yeah, Sunny. <laughs> okay, there's a sewer entrance. I don't think we're... We ain't done out here yet, though. Also, I don't think I've looted this. Oh, there we go. Hey, Car. You're a pilot for the Republic, right? You've been all over the galaxy, I bet, right? So tell me, how would you rate Taurus compared to other worlds you've seen? To be honest, Mission, Terrace would rate pretty low. The prejudice, the rich spoiling themselves while the poor are crushed beneath them, it, it's not a pretty picture. Yeah, but that's only since the Sith occupation. Before that, well, I guess it wasn't all that different, really. Hmm, maybe Taurus ain't as great as I thought, you know? Trust me, Mission, there are a lot of worlds better than Terrace. There, there are worse, too, but Terrace is no place for a kid to live on her own. Even a kid who's got a Wookiee to look out for. Hey, I ain't no kid. I look out for Zalbar as much as he looks out for me. Bixie's my friend, not my babysitter. Jeez, I come ask you a question, you give me a lecture. Don't you snap at me, Missy. You want a lecture? How's this? Only bratty little children fly off the handle because of a simple comment. Look who's fucking talking, Karth. Said the kettle to the pot. Hey. <laughs> um, you're not going to take that from him, are you, Mission? I'm siding with her. I'm sorry. I don't have to listen to you, Karth. You ain't my father, though you're sure old enough to be. So keep your lectures inside your withered old head, because I don't need them. And I sure as hell don't need this. Look, let's just drop it and get back to what we were doing. Good girl mission. Keep sassing Karth. It makes me happy. Ooh, rubble. I smell loot. One stashed a med pack in there and some credits. Oh, hello. Look who it is. Don't... don't move. I'm... I'm not afraid to use this blaster if I have to. Settle down, kid. We've already lost enough men to those damn rat ghouls. The last thing we need now is more casualties from a needless firefight. Mm. By the looks of you, I'd say you're down here for the same reason we are. To salvage something from those downed Republic space pods. Let me give you some advice. Forget about it. Do yourself a favor and just head back from where you came. Mm. Who are you? Just, I'm going to keep forgetting I know who Karen. The second time we've met him, I'm still like... Who are you? Meet him again later, but he'd still be like, Who are you again? That's Candorus Ordo. He's the most famous Mandalorian mercenary in this sector of the galaxy. This isn't a good place to stand around chatting. The Undercity is crawling with rat ghouls. I've already lost a half a dozen men to those monsters. Candorus, I heard something. Over there, in the shadows. Sounded like a rat ghoul. You know what, Von Ragnar? I'm convinced Looks that like actually... Looks like we've got company. Get those blasters ready, boys. That Sith Patrol, I feel like if there's one, if you pick one of the other dialogue options, I think the guy tells you that they're, they've run out of serum. They don't have any on them because they've, they've, they've used it already or something. Um, I think? Maybe I'm also misremembering that just like you are, but I could have sworn that that actually happens. Said someone who talked to him. Oh, sorry. That was me not paying attention. I've heard this dialogue... I've played through Taris so many times, I'll confess right now. I played through Taris and, and, and in this early part of the game so many times that honestly, when some of the NPCs are talking and their voice acts and I don't have to read it, you know, when it's not an alien, um, I, I do kind of zone out a bit and just sit here and read the chat and catch up on what I've missed uh, instead of actually listening to the NPCs. Uh, I do it all the time in other games too, but particularly in this one, <laughs> I'm afraid, so... Uh, okay. Anyway. Pew, pew, pew. Yeah! Uh, 
Uh-oh. Everybody shoot this one, please. That includes you, Tyler, you lunatic. Damn. I told Davik this salvage mission was a bad idea. His men aren't trained for this kind of thing, and I can't babysit them all. Okay, boys. We're getting out of here before I lose anyone else. I can't carry all this salvage back by myself. You'd be smart to get out of here as well. Even if you can handle the rat ghouls, I doubt there's anything worth finding anymore. Uh, what do you mean by that? Davik sent me down here with this motley crew to scavenge whatever we could from the Republic escape pods that crashed during the recent battle overhead. But the lower city gangs got here first. Anything worthwhile in those Republic pods is probably in their hands by now. Davik won't like that. Uh, what do you know about the Lower City Gangs? This isn't really the best place to have these kinds of conversations. But I guess I could spare a couple of seconds for you. After all, you did help us out with those rat ghouls. The Lower City is overrun with gangs. But the two most important ones are the Hidden Bex and the Black Vulkers. Used to be the Bex were the big dog and kept the others in line. But lately the Black Vulkers are moving in on Beck turf and challenging them for control. The Vulkers are even starting to defy Davik. Take these escape pods, for example. Everyone knew Davik would want first crack at them, but I know for a fact those damn Vulkers have already sent their own salvage party down here. What can you tell me about Davik? What are you, an off-worlder? Everyone knows Davik. He's a member of the Exchange. You know, the Interstellar Crime Syndicate. Smuggling, gambling, extortion. Davik controls it all here on Taurus. That's why I'm working for him. But lately, the lower city gangs have been giving my boss some trouble. All right, toodaloo. Come on, boys, let's move out. <laughs> Come on, boy, let's move out. Oh, got to loot him. Brilliant. Oh, look, there's more of them. Ah, uh, we need a medikit, don't we? No! Fuck. Oh, I hate playing this on PC. <sighs> hey, uni. How's it going? Uh, well, at the moment, it's uh, misclicks for days is how it's going. <laughs> uh, it's wasted a perfectly good antidote there. Uh, grenade? That was not as effective as... Try again? Guys, you want to help? Shoot this one here. Um, shoot, yep. Um, disengage. Shoot this guy. It's still queued up weirdly. Uh, whatever. Uh, Need you all to shoot that one next. Just kill it nice and fast, please. There we go. Nicely done, everybody. Concentrate your fire, and we'll drop them nice and quick. Yeah, there. I, 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 I mean, it's weird, right, Ham? Of like, like the grenades are actually quite satisfying when they, when they do work, but like the blast radius on them is so small that if the enemy just moves out of the way a little bit, like, like forget it. Oh my! No! What? 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 What are, you, what are you doing, player character? Oh my God! You, once he started, you, just, you can't interrupt him, really, can you? All right, everybody, run! Back, back, back! Yeah. Oh my God! What is he doing now? Polo, you lunatic! Stop! Disengage! Shoot that! There's still more. We're sort of luring them out a bit of a bit at a time right now, it seems. Oh now what are you doing? Ugh. Oh, they've decided to come around this way for some reason. Uh weird. But okay. Guys, you you can shoot the bad guys. That's generally the 
accepted standard procedure in this situation. Shoot the monster that's trying to kill you. There we go. Hey, he level up finally. Uh, adrenal alacrity and some parts. Okay. Give me that sweet, sweet level up. Skills! Treat injury, persuade, and... Ah, computer use. Feats. What do we want? Improved empathy. Improved flurry. Improved rapid shot. Improved dueling. Oh, I'm tempted by improved dueling, but also I kind of want improved empathy just to try and buff up my persuade skill a little bit more. But right now I think dueling would be more relevant, so let's have that. Ah, oh, Fragmine. And a dead dude. With some stuff. Alright, uh -huh. mission. You're our demo expert, kind of. Maybe streaming code or two. I honestly don't know, mate. Honestly. Yeah. I've never actually finished Knights of the Old Republic 2. I got about halfway through it the last time I played it. And honest, I t I'll, t I'll level with you. The thought of having to go through Paragus and Telos all over again just fills me with dread. Alright, lower sewers. We kind of checked out everything up here then by this point. I'm not sure we have. I think there's a bit more over in this direction. Any plans to continue Rogue Trader? No. None, I'm afraid. None at all. <sighs> Outcast Corps. Aha. Promised Land Apprentice Journal. That's what I was looking for. I think I might have missed that earlier. I reckon I might have looted that rebel and then just ignored the corpse. Like a champ. Yeah, let's go back to the outcast village and give this thing to Rukil. Not as long as Taris. Yeah, but Paragus plus Telos. If you put them together, that's definitely longer than Taris. And I don't like Telos very much either, so. Rookil! Where have you gone? Oh, he's over here. Greetings once more, Upworlder. Do you bring news of my apprentice? Have you discovered her fate and proved yourself to be a true savior of my people? Your apprentice is dead. I have her journal. It is as I feared, then. She joins the list of those who have given their lives in the service of our cause. But though I am saddened by this news, there is yet hope. By finding my apprentice, you have proved yourself worthy, Upworlder. You are to be the beacon on our path to salvation. You will guide us to the promised land. I d you know what? Actually, I didn't mind Paragus that much, to tell you the truth. Like, I actually, I think Paragus is pretty darn good. Um, I, the last time I played through, 
I, well, the last time I tried to complete KOTOR 2, I did actually enjoy playing through Paragus again. It's Telos. If I'm honest with myself, it's Telos that actually I really can't stand until you get to the very end of it anyway. Um, I find Telos just dreadfully boring, most of it. Uh, anyway. <clears throat> Did I guide you? I, I don't even know where the promised land is. You are marked, Upworlder. Even my dim old eyes can see the mantle of destiny that cloaks you. Perhaps old Rukil knows you better than you know yourself. I am old. I have lived a hundred years in the Undercity, cast down into the darkness. I know the legends and history of our people. And now you must learn it too. I'm not interested in the history of your people. I offer you wisdom and you turn me away. Perhaps you are not ready to accept the role you must play in the destiny and salvation of my people. Very well, Upworlder. Return to me when you are ready to learn what you must learn. All right, fine. To return, Upworlder. Very well, tell me the history of your people. The great city of Taurus covers the entire surface of this planet. There is no land to grow food. Kelp harvests and the creatures of the sea are our only food source. A century ago, rising levels of toxic pollution poisoned the oceans and famine swept the planet. The rich hoarded food for their own use, and the poor were left to starve and die. From what I've seen of Terrace, it doesn't look like much has changed. Except for the upper city, people here are just as bad off as the poor in your little history. But the poor rose up against this tyranny, and civil war engulfed the planet. Millions died in the fighting, and huge sections of Taurus were destroyed or abandoned. The rebellion was crushed in the end. Thousands were taken prisoner. The jails could not hold them all, and so the practice of banishing all prisoners to the Undercity was born. Sorry, what? <clears throat> I fell asleep there for a moment, uh, Rukil. Um, are you going to get to the point soon? Many brave men and women were banished here to the Undercity for their part in the rebellion. People like my father and grandfather were cast down along with their families. What did you expect? If they could get away with it, the Teresian nobles would stuff their own mothers down here to make more room in the upper city. Now we live a dark existence beneath the streets of Terrace. A life devoid of all hope but one. The Promised Land. And you will be the one to show us the way to get there. <sighs> How can I lead you to the Promised Land when I don't even know where it, what it is? Legends tell of a self-sufficient colony founded just before the famine and lost during the Civil War. A paradise beneath the Undercity where droid servants tend to every need. For many years I searched for the Promised Land, just as my grandfather and father did before me. When I became old and grey, my apprentice continued the search on my behalf. Sounds like a myth to me. Something to give the people here some false hope to cling to, so they don't go mad with despair. I have collected many clues hinting at its location. The journal of my apprentice provides yet more information. But still, there are too many pieces missing from this puzzle. But I know my father and grandfather each had journals where they recorded their own discoveries. Perhaps with their journals, I could at last uncover its hidden location. Uh, well, I have one of the journals you're looking for. Yes, Upworlder. Well done. However, I see that this journal alone does not have enough clues for me to solve this mystery. Too many pieces are still missing. I'm afraid that only with all three journals, my grandfather's, my father's, and my apprentice's, will I be able to discover the location of the Promised Land. I will leave this journal with you for safekeeping for now. Perhaps it will aid you in your search for the others. I wish you luck, Upworlder, for the sake of the entire village. 
Very well, Rukil. Well, I got some quality phone checking time in while you were doing your little exposition there, sir. But, uh... Right, find more journals, gotcha, blah, blah, blah. Let's have a little look in here, actually. Very good. I saw you talking with Rukul. He told you his legends about the promised man, didn't he? He told you all about his missing apprentice and the other lost explorers, right? You know, most people don't believe his stories. They figure he's nothing but an old cook. But I think there might be some truth in what he's saying. That's why I want to stop him. Is this Rosh Pennant? I, you know what? I think that is the same voice actor. Now you mention it. Ha! Good spot. Was there anything good on the phone? <laughs> Mostly just notifications for YouTube videos, actually, which I, most of which I have no intention of watching, actually. I should probably turn off the notifications for those channels. Um, anyway... That's my secret, really. I just subscribe to loads and loads of YouTube channels, which means that my phone's always popping off and vibrating. So people think that I'm really super popular and I have lots of people texting me, but actually, no, it's just... It's just YouTube subscriptions. Uh, ahem. Why are you telling me this? Oh, don't worry, I'll make this quick. I've got an offer that might be worth your while. For an outcast, I've got things pretty good. The village relies on me to bring in food and supplies. I'm an important man. If it wasn't for Gendar, I'd be running this place. I get the feeling if it wasn't for Gendar, this place would be a lot worse <laughs> off than it is. But if Rukul ever finds his promised land, I'm sunk. People won't need to rely on me anymore. I'll just be another nobody like all the rest of the villagers. I won't let that happen. So what do you want me to do? The two explorers who went searching for the promised land might have found something. They might have found clues or evidence, just like Rukul's apprentice. They would have recorded that information in their journals. I'll pay you if you bring all three journals to me. The two from the explorers and the one from Rukul's apprentice. Then I can destroy the evidence and make sure nobody ever finds the promised land. I've saved up enough credits for my business here to make it worth your while if you help me. Hmm. I'll think about it. Once you have all three journals, just bring them to me and I'll give you a decent reward. Now, was there something else you needed? I feel like a nobody in the promised land is probably still better off than a rich man in this dump. I don't know, Hammer, but I guess it's, it's he's, we're talking social capital rather than actual capital, aren't we? So, and he clearly values the uh, the former over the latter. Uh, okay, um, yeah, toodaloo, bye. Yeah, okay, you'll come back and see me if you want a deal. Alrighty then. Well, we are getting time to time to go to the sewers, ladies and gentlemen. It's an RPG. Mandatory sewer level incoming. Uh, there's two entrances. I don't know which one's the best one to take, but this one's quicker, so. Alrighty, mission. I want you to try and recover this mine if you can. I don't know if her demo skill's high enough though. Oh, she did it. Well done. Good lass. Yes. Keep doing that. I want to get a, a nice big collection of frag mines that I can use occasionally. With annoying for annoying encounters, pretty much like this one actually.
And how does one use a mine? I've it's been ages since I've even bothered to use one before. Do you just go into here and then find the mine and then click use item? It's a bit clunky, but... Also, we've picked up loads of uh, stims, haven't we? I just I didn't notice that. We've picked up quite a few stims. Did she actually recover that or did she just disable it and I clicked the wrong button? I could have sworn I clicked the recover button. Oh no, here we go, here we go. Oh. Do we need demo skill to place the mines as well? In which case, mission! Yeah, yeah. we do, we do. Yeah, here we go. Oh crap! Someone's gonna get hurt. Yeah, someone's definitely gonna get hurt. Run! Ready. Yes. Okay, that didn't. That was not worth all the bother. Not even slightly. Behind you. Okay. Minds of a selling, unless you can take the time to stack a bunch on top of each other. No, actually, now you mention it, they probably are just worth selling. That's pretty much what I was thinking, to be honest with you. I wanted to get a whole bunch of them. And, like, for, there's a couple, there's at least a couple of encounters in the game I can think of where stacking up a crap load of mines on top of each other would actually be kind of a fun way of dealing with it, but there are other ways to deal with those encounters that don't involve spamming mines, and so you might as well sell them and keep the money, I suppose. Especially if it means I have to carry mission around in the party all the time if I want to use them. And let's be honest, mission's not the best, like, party member when it comes to combat, so... Hello, piggy. You asked for this. You keep them on you just in case you need them. We we did loot this, didn't we? Okay, good. I think... Aha, yes, here's the force field. Ready? Mission, please. Right, yep. Recover mine. Excellent. And recover this one as well, please. Brilliant. energy shield leads to another section of the sewers. The entrance to the Vulcar base is somewhere past there. I've got the codes to lower the shield, but we have to rescue Zalbar from those Gamorian slavers. Don't worry, we can come back after we find Big V. Yes. Okay. Huh? What? Bro! Fucking... Oh my goodness me, hello sir. Ready. Execute this piggy. Yes. Hello. Yep, this way. Help. All right, never mind. I'll just solo him. I tell you what, this heavy blast is pretty darn good. <laughs> um, Karth? What are you doing, dude? 
getting stuck. There we go. I'm going to have to probably explore these sewers quite thoroughly, aren't we, if we want to get all the side quest jobbies. Normally I try and rush the sewers because they're annoying. To be honest with you, normally I try and rush Taris full stop because it's annoying, but um Thanks for being a meat shield, calf. Oh, down he goes. Uh this is starting to look a little dicey this. Yeah. Just a smidge. Run away! Uh Alright, guard leader down. Do I need to switch to my sword or are we going to manage this? I might need to switch to my sword. These missions fiber blades better. There we go. Fuck it, oh, that was close. That's right, we're good. We're all fine here. How are you? Okay, um, I suppose we probably can't fast transit from here, can we? <gasps> we can. Never mind. Ignore me. Free healing, everyone! Don't mind if I do! Yeah, I sort of know what you mean, Dark Fight. Yeah, it's it's weird. Like these, we love these RPGs, and yet there's so many bits of them that we don't like doing, to the point where people make mods so that you can skip them, like the fade in Dragon Age. Oh my fucking word! That's not what I was expecting. I'll be honest. Ah uh, shit. Cast corpse. Here we are. Promised land journal, medipack, and two antidotes. Fade isn't even that bad. I I, I happen to agree with you actually, Hamov. I think the fade is a little bit. I don't know if underrated is the right word. Overhated, maybe. Uh. I actually, I really, I genuinely don't mind the fade all that much. I like transforming into the weird monsters and doing all the things, you know. It's, it's a giggle. It'd be a hell of a lot more boring if you didn't have that uh, gimmick. Though I have to admit, if you were just going through the fade as your regular ass character without those fancy, fancy abilities, it would be a hell of a lot more boring. But I just find shape-shifting fun in RPGs anyway. Like, I love doing shape-shifting in D&D. &D. Like, you remember the Neverwinter Nights LP when, when Vera, Vera got, like, was able to, like, polymorph herself into a number hulk? I, I think that shit's hilarious. I love it. Hi there. You can open fire any time you like, guys. Ready. Yeah. 
Sure. Fucking nailed them. Nice one. Loot! And this... Does this go to the other sewer entrance outside? Oh, never mind. Alright, that uh, her mission! Yeah. Would you like to recover this gas mine for me? Yes? What? Huh? Sure. Encounter without being poisoned. Without being poissoned. Ooh, advanced medicate. Do anything with this? Aha, Zalbar's behind there. You probably shouldn't know that really, but the game just highlighted him briefly. <laughs> Cover, please. It shall, be, it shall, I shall add sure. it to my collection. No problem. Right, can I get through this? Got it. There we go. Uh, oh, hello, Mr. Gamorian. How do you do? Just One piggy down. Piggy number two, also down. We're in elite. Oh god, these guys, right. I remember this encounter being a bit of a bitch in the past. You may all shoot him if you would like. Good grief. Yeah. Oh, that's power blast. And there's the chief. Do it again. Cue, cue, cue up some more power blasts for me because that went quite well. Yes. Oh my god. Oh my god. Oh my golly gosh. Heal yourself. Heal the physician. Heal thyself. Oh, it's okay. He's decided to go bonk someone else on the head. Okay, Karth, stop making me like you by doing awesome things in combat. It's very annoying. Hello, tee hee hee, run away. Okay, now he's just gonna wallop mission if I try. Like okay. Oh, she's leveled up, huh? hurrah. Skills. Demolitions. 
your security? Awareness, treat injury. Still. Cool. Just got sneak attack, which I'm never gonna make use of, I suspect, and weapon focus blaster pistol, I suppose. Oh, it's just okay. I I, took, I didn't realize how this worked. Never bothered to look. Never play as a scoundrel. So, three to eighteen points of extra damage to the targets when the target can't respond to the attacker. Apply to attacks made from behind the target. Attacks against stunned or otherwise immobilized targets, or, and any attacks made still. Oh, okay, never mind. I thought it was just like if you're shooting them and they can't hit you. There you go. Blast pistol focus. Get you a wee little bonus yes. to your hit rolls. Hmm. Look at this. This is one of those old style manual locks. No computer codes or nothing. The sewers is the only place you'd see one of these on terrace. You can't use conventional security spikes on these old locks. But don't worry. I've come across them before. I've rigged up a little device that should do the trick. I'm glad to see you too, Big Z. You didn't think I'd forget about you. Mission and Dalbar, together forever. I should read that as dialogue. I keep forgetting to do it. Who's that with you, says Z? Good to meet you, Zalbar. I'm Warren Polo. You know the language of my people? That is rare among your species. I am impressed. You have saved me from a life of servitude and slavery. There is only one way I can ever repay such an act. I will swear a life debt to you. A life debt? You sure about that, Big Thing? Think about it carefully. You better be sure about this. I am sure, Mission. This is an issue of great importance to me. Because of our great physical strength, Wookiees are being used as slave labor on our own homeworld. And for some reason, the camera is not looking at me while I talk. This is rude. They see us as brutes and animals to be exploited. Over the years, slavers have taken many of my people. We must always be on guard against raids against our villages. When the Gamorreans captured me, I thought I was doomed to a life of servitude. I've been saved from such a fate, and I can only the only way I can repay that is through a life debt. Uh, let me guess, it means I got a walking carpet following me for the rest of my days. Um, oh, I've always wanted a Wookiee slave. Oh my god, that's so evil, I can't bring myself to say it. Even if I was playing a dark side character. Um, some kind of loyalty vow, isn't it? A life debt is the most solemn vow a Wookiee can make. It means he'll stay by your side for the rest of your life. Wherever you go, whatever you do, in the presence of you all, I swear my life debt. Forever after, I will be by your side, Warren Polo. May my vow be as strong as the roots of the great Rosha trees of Kashyyyk. I don't suppose there's any way I can get out of this. Sorry, but there's not much you can do about it. Zalbar's already sworn the life debt, and it's not something they can just take back. This is a sacred, irreversible vow. I guess this means you're stuck with me, too. Wherever Big Z goes, I'm going. I almost lost him once. It's not going to happen again. Well, he's lived for like 300 years, so it's not as big of a deal as it sounds, according to Hamov. That's quite funny, actually, when you put it in that context. Because well, he's like, oh yeah, I'll swear a life debt to you. Fully knowing that you're he's you're not going to live as long as he is. That's, that's almost cheeky. Um, but okay. Um... Uh, I'm glad to have you aboard, Mission. So, I guess I still owe you one secret path into the Volker base. That was the deal, wasn't it? Don't worry. I know a back door into that scum den. Good. The sooner we get there, the better. I better come with you. The Volkers put up a force shield to keep the sewer dwellers out. 
I'm one of the only non volkers on Terrace who can get you past it. I can't remember exactly how to get there, but I know it was somewhere here in the sewers. Over to the northeast, if I remember right. If you I remember right. We walked past it. Still there. Oh, wait, hang on a minute. No, she's talking about a different... Well... No, we have to get through to that, and then we meet the Rancor she's just mentioned. Uh, Rancor? Are you serious? There used to be a Rancor monster that made its nest in that part of the sewers. It pretty much eats anything it can get its claws on. That thing is huge. Luckily, Rancors aren't too bright. I was able to sneak past it before, so I'm sure we'll figure something out. That is, unless you want to change your mind. Hmm... That's not really an option. Let's go. Okay then, off we go. Like I said, somewhere to the southeast. Just look for the force shield, and we'll know we're there. Salabar has joined your party. Uh, yes, very good. Um, Salabar, buddy. Uh, yeah, you can go back to the apartment and chill. Um, go have a shower or something, mate. Cause, uh, I mean, just. Uh, Correct me if I'm wrong, folks, but my memory of this game is chiefly when it comes to Zalbar is that he's kind of rubbish um, as a party member. He's just he's just he's just crap. He can't wear armor, so um, yeah. And to be honest with you, Cast's kind of been kicking ass lately as well, so... <laughs> Ooh, hello. Huh? banter would you rather hear well to tell you the truth mate because i have to read out all of zalbar's dialogue and i'm a lazy bastard i'd rather not hear zalbar's so i got i'm ju just being honest with well. you folks reactivate the oh hell no I don't, I don't, honestly, I don't always have a huge problem with reading our dialogue. Sometimes it's quite fun, like in Baldur's Gate. Um, but uh, as, as I said, I'm tired and hung over today. And reading out dialogue, it's just not, not been working for me lately. Right, that's, how many more of these Promised Land journals do we need? Oh, looks like we got them all. Brilliant. Don't have to keep searching for those then. However... There is a corridor up here or two we've not actually explored yet. Have we found the serum? Oh yeah, we got the serum. Don't you worry. to it. Okay, cool. Alright, mission. Ready. What? Open sesame. You won't be able to get that computer to lower the energy fields unless you know the proper codes. Lucky for you, I've got them. I picked them off the pocket of a black Volker who had a little too much to drink in the cantina one night. Here, let me get that energy field down for you. Sure. Lovely, thank you. Uh, no, I haven't cured the villagers, no, admittedly. I actually completely forgot about that little side bit. Now you mention it. Yeah. Hello, my Gamordian friend. Uh, I'm now, now wondering if it's worth doubling back right now before we go any further. Probably, yeah, because you don't, when, when you come out of the Volker base, you don't, you don't come back out into the Undercity, do you? You come out in the Lower City, which means this is a one-way trip, which means... Time to do some backtracking. 
in the name of getting a bit more XP. Oops. Not in this direction, though. Yeah, we got all the journals, Weaver. That's the main thing I'm going back for right now, actually. Yeah, no, I'm with Django. I'm pretty sure there's only one serum you can pick up and it doesn't... You don't lose it or anything. Yeah, it's over here, isn't it? I totally forgot about this. To be honest, I rush through this section of the game you, you so, so much normally that uh, no wonder I forgot about it. Wait, Upwelder. You can't go through this gate. There is too much danger and suffering beyond. For your own sake, turn back. I have brought you a serum to cure the radical disease. Uh, this is getting a bit ahead of ourselves there, aren't we? Who are you? I am Isala, healer of this village. I use my knowledge and what little resources we have to care for the outcasts who are sick or injured. But despite my medical training, there is nothing I can do to help the poor souls locked on the other side of this gate. This woman sounds like her voice acting is done by AI, and yet it isn't. What are you talking about? The villagers infected with the Rutgore disease are quarantined beyond this gate. It's only a matter of time until they transform into horrible creatures that would destroy us all. So you just lock them away in a cage? For the sake of the village, we have to keep the infected ones locked away. And when they finally do transform into rock ghouls, we'll let them destroy each other. <laughs> yeah, I know, Django. What a, what a burn to, uh, for the benefit of those of you who are watching this and can't see the chat because I had to turn Your it off. Oh. generous, Upworlder, but the serum is useless to us now. The villagers infected with the rat ghoul disease... I just accidentally bashed my numpad. At any moment, they could be transformed into terrible monsters. Nobody would be foolish enough to risk going into the pens to give them the cure. The infected ones could transform into rat ghouls and attack them at any moment. Anyway, Django just said that... What a burn to voice actors. You sound like an AI, but you're not. Oh, she does, though. <laughs> oh, I'm sorry, but she does. Um... Uh... Uh, I'm torn between what my character would do versus, like, chasing that damn experience. Um. Yeah. Nah, bye. Farewell. Actually, no. Fuck it. We've. I've just. I'm sitting here and I'm thinking about it. like the, sh the. We've. We've already. We've already. We've just. We've just like mowed our way through like like a hundred odd rat ghouls already. Um. Why on earth would I care about like a couple more in this in this in this pen here? Like, that, that's actually stupid when I sit Back down and again. think about it. So, yeah, no, I'm just. Your offer is generous. Yeah, Village yeah, no yeah. All right, I'm going again. I can't stop you from going through the gates, Upworlder. But if the infected ones have already transformed into Rutgors, you'll be walking into your grave. No, I won't. We've got lots and lots of blaster pistols. It's fine. Please help us. We're infected with the Rutgor disease. At any moment, we could... Uh, no! This cannot be... No! Whoosh. <laughs> Poor Karth just standing right up next to them. <laughs> well, buddy, you're going to be taking the hits for us. Although that's not good because he's, he's at like half health right now. Ooh, they poisoned him twice. And he's dead. Oh, gosh. 
Uh, these might be a bit tougher than your garden variety rat goals for some reason. They're kind of, oh dear, um, mistakes getting made right now. Hang on a minute. Do, will they refuse to come out of the pen? They will! Oh, I can just exploit this now. This is fine. This is great. Perfect! Mission's gonna save the day all by herself. Thanks to a lovely little exploit. Oh! God! Damn it! Don't obey my fucking commands, player character. Don't, don't, don't. Run away! Exactly what I was hoping would not happen. For fuck's sake, just shoot the bastard. Oh, God! Sweet mother of mercy, where did I last quick save? Let's do this again. Can we try this again and not fuck it up this time? Wait up. You're off the villain. No. I can't. Please help us. No! This cannot be. No! At least Karth isn't stood right in front of them this time. Run away! No mission. No, no, no. Okay, Karth's feeling suicidal, whatever. It's okay, Karth, you're allowed. He says. You asked for this. Fuck's sake. Oh. Deja vu, anyone? It's happening all over again. Shoot the weakened one. She's just like shooting, but nothing was coming out. That's hilarious. All right. Um, never mind. Mission, can you rescue us by just killing this last dude? She's never going to manage it, is she? I just stand here. Oh, this is the perfect spot. Here we go. Now we're cooking on lighter fluid. There we go. That's where we should have stood the entire time. Nailed it. What? All right, you gits. Please, please, you have to help us. We beg you. We don't want to end up like the others. Please help us. We can't end up like them. I have brought you a serum to the cure the Rackle disease. You, you have a cure? Please give it to me, please, quickly, before it's too late. Here, take the Rackle serum. What are you give It's an exchange! Or oh, forget it, I'm not wasting the cure. That's just cruel, it's so cruel. No, here you go, you take the serum. Quickly, I must inject it before it is too late. Yes. I feel it working. I feel the disease burning away. It, it's like a miracle. I am cured. Oh, it's fast. Thank you, Upworlder. You have saved us from a fate worse than death. I only wish I had some reward to give you. Maybe you can find something worthwhile in the wreckage of that Republic escape pod. Republic escape pod? What are you talking about? Not long ago, an escape pod crashed in the Undercity. 
far to the northeast of the village. We were going to try and salvage equipment from it, but we were attacked by the rat ghouls and infected. I'd tell you more if I could, but our salvage I don't know team if we never actually looted that. that. It's probably still there, unless some of the other upworlders already found it and picked it clean. We should go now, upworlder. We're anxious to return to the village and see our families again. Thank you once again for everything you've done. All right, Tootle Pit. Thanks for the XP. What do you, you look to say for yourself? Me. I always thought the surface dwellers couldn't care less about us outcasts, but you risked everything to help those infected villagers. I wish I had some type of reward to give you, but we outcasts have nothing. All I can offer is the gratitude of the entire village. I need healing. <laughs> there we go. That'll do. Ready. All right, calf Milano. Uh, treat injury. Um, I can't get you the last rank of Master Power Blasts just yet. Someday, though. In the meantime. Tough nuts, I guess. Rapidly running out of useful feats to give him. Yes. Okie dokie. What is the time? Ladies and gentlemen, it's, it's just gone 8 o'clock. We're done for today. That's it. That's your lot, I'm afraid. Taris is taking a little bit longer than I expected, but that's because we've spent way more time in the Undercity than I thought we were going to, because, I don't know, man, I just, I just want that. I just want those precious experience points, you know? Um, yeah. We've still got the Black Volk base to look forward to. Um... And everything after that must have XP, yes. So, uh, Twitch 2. Ladies and gentlemen, if you've been watching this on YouTube, I hope I remember to cut, cut that segment of stream out earlier where someone accidentally spoiled a part of the story. Um, and I'll catch you in the next one. I'll oh, stream more of this next Saturday. Um, I'm thinking... This coming week, I'm going to stream on Wednesday. I'm going to start streaming an extra day a week at the moment because it's the holidays and blah, blah, blah. I've got quite a bit of video stuff done in the background. I know it's been a while since I uploaded a Roam 2 uh, video or anything else that is, wasn't a stream. But trust me, I've been working behind the scenes. I've got like four, seven videos done. They're in the editing process at the moment. About half of them are from Rome for Rome 2, the other half are for something else. Um, rest assured, I have been working like a busy bee on that in the background. It's just you've yet to see any of it on the channel so far. Um, but yes, I've been working on that. And so uh, I'm thinking of doing an extra day a week of streaming. So it's going to be, I think, this coming week onwards, at least until January. Uh, we're going to do Wednesday... Thursday, Friday, Saturday streams. Um, not including any cancellations I have to make. Like yesterday, I, I cancelled it because I was I was going out yesterday evening. So, but uh, that's the plan anyway. Going forwards, Wednesday, Thursday, Friday, Saturday, um, and we'll be streaming Kotor again next Saturday. As for the Wednesday, Thursday, Friday, probably more Total War modding showcases, and or anything else that happens to have come out recently that looks interesting. I mean, we streamed Rogue Trader last week, so. Um, yeah. Don't know. It's going to be kind of potluck, really, for what the rest of the streams are going to be. So, um, yeah. Anyway, I'll, I'll, I'll catch you for those folks. Tune in if you fancy it, if you've got the time or if you're available. And I'll see you next weekend for the rest of you who are just turning up for KOTOR, which is fair enough. Um, let's go. I'll go back to the main menu. Yes, there we are. Lovely jubbly. Right, now, is there anybody I can raid? Now, is there anybody... Oh, Echo! Echo, Echo, Echo. Nope, nobody on my list. That's weird. Twice in a row I haven't been, I haven't been able to raid anybody. It's kind of annoying. Anyway, folks, have a good one. I'll catch you next time. Toodaloo.